And then, like you said, we had the Women's Royal Rumble. I mean, I hate to say it this way, but honestly, who cares? We could always get Jade Cargill finally. I think she'll be in the Rumble, but I don't think she'll... So, uh, thank you. You just reminded me. (laughs) I forgot Jade was there. I'm sorry. I'm running on not little sleep, but I haven't been sleeping well at all. I don't know what it is. It's like, no matter how much I sleep, I feel like I'm still not getting enough. It's weird. So, my brain's a little foggy. But, yeah, so... No, I I need them. I need to get more. Uh, He's referring to OMG CBD, who is not the sponsor, but screw it. Any of your OMG CBD Delta 9, Delta 8 needs, visit OMG CBD in Columbus, Indiana. They will hook you up. But I mean, okay, from so from what I heard with Jade Cargill, like her mom was sick or I think it was her mom or her grandma maybe that was sick. That's why she took some extra time to not debut or anything. And then I heard that she got hurt while training. Uh, I'm not sure. And now I'm not sure what they're going to do. Like, but the Rumble is the perfect time to finally debut her. And in my opinion, in my opinion, number thirty. Yes. Yeah. Keep her all, keep her all the way to number thirty. If you're going, it's okay. Number thirty, I think, is the perfect spot for somebody that's debuting new, or not somebody you want to squash because, like, a Santino Morella comes out at like number twelve, and then gets thrown out. I I agree with you. Um, it'll make an impact, but she won't be in there long enough to, if she's not ready, she won't stink the joint up, but she's in there long enough where if she is ready, she'll be able to showcase. So it's, it's kind of a win-win for everybody. Uh